everyone. Welcome to the Occult Rejects. Uh, in today's episode, as you can see, we're going to be talking about the Gilgo Beach murders uh, for multiple reasons. One, because it interests me in general, because I remember growing up not too far from there at all and seeing that stuff on the TV over and over and over again. Uh, even when I was younger, I wasn't really even technically really into the news then either. But this case uh, did catch my attention. I mean, like I said, I was probably like 20, 30 minutes away from where the bodies were buried. So I was like, wow, like what's going on? And uh, there was a lot of weird things in general that kind of was going along with this case that I don't think really got too much attention nationwide. Um, that's probably going to end up being more of stuff that we'll be talking about in episode two. You know, there was a case that I remember of a kid who... You know, broke into someone's car, not a long, you know, long story short, I'm pretty sure, you know, he ended up running into a cop that was involved in this case and some very shady things themselves. There was even somebody I remember that owned Bissett's Nursery, not too far away from me, that on their deathbed, even admitting to doing this. So, like, I'm like, what's going on? Why is this happening now? And somebody's even admitted to doing it. Other people, you know, very shady, shady crime. Um... You know, and then now comes to Rex Hewerman. So, you know, it caught my attention, and I, I quickly was like, oh, wow, holy crap. You know, I even went down to the house, as you can see. I even filmed. Um, you know, so it is very interesting, and I wasn't, uh, wasn't saying, like, it can't be him. It just definitely took me by surprise. And I am, uh, I am not also taking out the possibility that there was multiple people. I mean, I understand Rex was huge and could probably throw around these little girls like a rag doll, unfortunately. But, I mean, to me, when it was happening and I was younger, I think most people even wondered if there was more than one person. Because when you start seeing this many people showing up, you know, it's just like, you know, you got away with doing this and didn't get hurt at all. Or, you know, who knows? You would think that there could have been multiple people doing it. So I guess really with enough said, you know, out of all that, I'm interested in it. It seems a little bit shady to me. Again, I remember a lot of weird shit even going around people involved with the case when I was younger. And for it to just blow up and all of this now, I just find it questionable. And I, I sometimes, you know, do think, I'm just going to say this now before we get into it. I sometimes do think, and I, and I can't say why or what's the point. What are they getting out of it? But sometimes I do think shit is just thrown on the TV just to occupy your attention. And it may not even be real. And it could just be a magical psyop. I'm not, I don't know if it's money, attention. I mean, I will say one thing, and I'm including myself on this. People's love and lust for true crime is getting a little weird. I even noticed that myself when I went down to this guy's house. You have reporters down there hoping that they see body bags or arms coming out. That's actually kind of fucked up. I even said that myself when I was like laughing with them. I was like, you know, that's actually kind of sick. I was like, we're fucked up. We're sitting here hoping we see bodies dragged out of this house. That's going to be someone's kid, someone's mother or something. Because we're dying to see that shit. So, I mean, for all I know, it just could be how desensitized we are to horrific crap. This is just more of it. I don't know. Or who knows? I could just be completely wrong. But I do think, in general, things sometimes are just put out there as magical psyops. And I think it's quite questionable with this one. And going into it as we cover some of the information, I'm going to be running the gematria on a lot of this stuff. And to me, it seems very, 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 very thulemic. I'm not saying it's OTO related. I'm not saying it's Astrum Argentum related. You know, uh, for people who are listening and you may not know this, you know, it, it may sound scary, but I can guarantee you there's more people practicing thulemic magic than there are in these orders. Between the OTO and the AA, I guarantee you there's more people who are solitary practitioners that are in these orders. So you do not have to be a member. But I will say this is very, very thelemic to me. And if it was being done by one of them, I honestly think it would be the AA. Because this shit is so deep and I think so secretive. I mean, you, you know who the fuck is in the OTO. You don't know who's in the AA. You deal with people online and when you go and do things, your heads are covered with hoods. 
It's a legit secret society. So people could even be involved in this case and not even know who the other fucking person is. You're just given a role and told who to tell who, what, and where. You know, I have no idea when it comes to stuff like this. But, again, I'm not trying to point the finger deliberately at the OTO or the AA. You know, when I say that, I think it's very thelemic because I don't want people attacking me for that. You know, or I don't want people automatically thinking it's always in order when it could just be a bunch of sick dudes or a group of sick people that are into this stuff as an offshoot. And I'm not, and I'm not past, you know, I'm not sympathizing for the OTO or AA either. I just don't want people to think I'm automatically pointing at them just because I'm saying it's thelemic magic. You know, could be multiple things, you know. All right, so with that, uh, I guess if you want, uh, Lisa, I'll, I can't even introduce Lisa, so sorry. I got Lisa with me today after running my mouth for a while, uh, six minutes in. Uh, I got Lisa back with me. Um, uh, you know, again, like I had said, she did a great job with the I-Series and anything else she has covered with me. She is probably by far the best researcher that I've worked with so far. Lisa, thank you very much for coming on. And uh, you can go ahead and, I guess, uh, start it off or, you know, introduce yourself, say what's up, well, I don't know, however you want to do it. I'm good. Lisa, everybody knows. Um, but, yeah, um, I guess let me go ahead and get started with Rex yeah. and just kind of give a little brief uh, bio sketch on him. Sure, sure. And who he is. Yes, please. So his name is Rex Andrew Hewerman, and he was born on September 13th, 1963. So he's about 59 years old. And there's different articles stating that he was, he's about 6'4", six, 6'6". Six, six. So I kind of just gave ballpark or whatever. Grew up on Long Island, attended Burner High School, architect in Long Island and Manhattan, and has been an architectural consultant since 1987. According to the news uh, blips, he had 92 handgun permits issued to him. I was really hoping for a 93. I, know. Yeah. I was like, come on, yeah. really? It's like one Nine probably, ex do they expire? I was like, maybe uh, one expired two weeks prior, so I there would have been 93. <laughs> I, I think it's by state. Yeah, I, was, I, I, was, I don't even know if they expire. So I have no idea what the gun laws are in New York. Yeah. But yeah, so no idea. And I don't know if the, the permits were from New York. They could have <laughs> been from South Carolina or Nevada or something. I was so just going to say, I'll be totally honest with you, if you even... To get a gun permit in New York is not easy. Really? I mean, it's a little bit easier out there, I guess, out in um, okay. Long Island. But, like, if you wanted to get one out in, like, Manhattan, uh, you, you got to prove, like, I got money. I'm, people might, you know, I have a business, this and that. But, like, I, just in my opinion, to get that many in New York, I, I don't know how easy that could be. Okay. You know? But, yeah. again, I think that's a high number. And I think that okay. might even be hard to pull off in New York. So, I'm, I'm assuming maybe it's... other states. Correct. I'm thinking it's probably South Carolina, Nevada, or something like that, where it's probably the gun laws are not as stringent. Because I know they were looking at South Carolina and, and California. Okay. And what, did you also say... Um, Nevada. Yes. So, Nevada. yeah, maybe not California so much, but maybe those other two states might have been easier for him right. to get those permits. In. I think so. Yeah. 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 All right. So. And then he... No, no, you're fine. Um, then he... They apparently seized over 200 firearms... Um, so the, the permits were for handguns. That's what they indicated. And then the firearms is everything from handguns to rifles and so forth. And they didn't specify what type. So I just went with 200 plus firearms. Um, and it was in a vault below, um, I believe in like the basement or something like that. Um, you know, what's funny it, when I was, when I was at the, when I was at the location, there mm -hmm. was a few times where like one cop had said like a few things, the same cop. To uh, a couple of the New York, the, the press press people with the actual like shit hanging, yeah, um, said something to them, and he, I overheard him say like over one hundred, and that was like early in the day while I was there, and I was like, yo, yeah, I'm thinking this guy's talking about bodies, and like I didn't oh, see wow. much of a reaction or anything, and I was like, yo, is this a dude just jerking them off? <laughs> Like, can't tell yeah. them stupid shit. And I'm wow. thinking now, maybe he was talking about the guns at the time. He was talking about the firearms, I bet. Holy I bet. shit. Wow. I, that never dawned That's... on me until you said it now. Because I was like, because yeah. at first, when I heard him say that, I was like, yo, 
if, if that if they did that guy just like I'm like thinking like oh I need to stay here again you know, right up, I gotta yeah. get this on camera you know <laughs> and then I was like nah he had to have been messing with them because even if they would have said a hundred bodies I, I would have even assumed they may have even opened up like the area that they had like closed off right like we might need more room for more fucking yeah things to put these bodies in I hate to say it right like, you know right yeah no, exactly because no, we were I was sure. only like two houses from the house by the corner. So that's crazy. Yeah. Wow. Well, and, and firearms are expensive right now. That's another thing. So, you know, he spent a lot of money on that, mm. um, you know, going to the whole ramshackle of a house that they keep referring to. Um, so those were seized from his New York home. And then apparently he had two Chevy avalanches, one in New York and one in South Carolina that they both seized. Um, so that, that was interesting. And the, the Chevy, uh, avalanche comes into play when they talk about, um, Amber Costello, that, uh, someone witnessed that vehicle in the vicinity when she disappeared. So that's why the Chevy avalanche was mentioned. So his current address is in Massapequa, uh, New York and, um, it's 105 first Avenue. Mm, that's very Additional properties are the Vegas timeshare that he bought on the West strip in 2005 and then a five acre plus lot or four lots in Chester County, South Carolina that he got in 2021. Apparently he was planning on retiring and then moving down to South Carolina and building there and wanted to buy people out or something like that was mentioned in some of the articles. In addition to that, he had two storage units at Omega Self Storage located on 185 Sunrise Parkway, Amityville, New York. Yeah. So. And I uh, just want to, like, mention real quick, like, that's not too far from Massapequa. So, like, okay. I don't think there's anything about, like, oh, why do you go to Amityville? Because it's 10 minutes away, <laughs> you know. It's just the next town over. Yeah, yeah, literally, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They probably have better rates. Yeah, I mean, there, um, was, there was a gym I used to go to in Massapequa, in case anybody remembers Al's Gym. You know, like, you can go, f- I think, five more minutes down Sunrise Highway, and now you're in Amityville, you know. <laughs> so. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Nice. So the business he had was RH, which I'm assuming are his initials, Consultants and Associates. And it was located at 385 Fifth Avenue, Suite 1100 in New York. 1100, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Founded or incorporated in 1994. And clients included everything from New York City Landmark Preservation Commission, Catholic Charities, Sewerage Treatment, uh, environmental protection was one of them, Air, American Airlines, and some of the major tenants at the JFK um, International Airport. Um, one thing I wanted to mention early on in the discovery of the body when they went to go look for Shannon Gilbert and they ended up finding um, uh, one of the bodies, the, the Gilgo Four, that um, they found a belt with the embossed initials, either W. M or M H I'm sorry, H M or W M. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, that, that was found early on, but wasn't released to the public until I believe last year, 2022, when the task force was formed and we'll talk about task force task force here in a bit. And they went ahead and they asked the public for information on that, um, H M or W H uh, belt. And so one thing to, to mention is that HM could be Hewer Man or um, WH uh, could stand for Rex's grandfather, whose first name was William. So I'll just kind of mention that before I get into this. So in when the task force was formed, um, the discovery of the Chevy, the fact that he owned a Chevy Avalanche uh, was linked to him in March of 2022. And so um, this was associated with him by witness testimony and the disappearance of Amber Costello. So once they found out that he owned a a Chevy Chevy Avalanche, that's when everything kind of started rolling, or at least that's what the reports say. So that by June 12th, of June 12th, 2022, they went ahead and acquired uh, mitochondrial DNA profiles from a hair found on Waterman, and then compared it to a DNA swab of discarded pizza crust from Rex. And so that that's another thing we could talk about a little later is the whole mitochondrial DNA. That's not very... Yeah, actually, if you don't mind, maybe 
bring that up now before okay. I start running into like yeah. everything else. Absolutely. Um, I think that so, is huge. And I really, you know, in case people don't even listen to all the gematria stuff, I would like them to hear this. Absolutely. So just very briefly, we're going to talk about, so you have two types of DNA in your cell. You have nuclear DNA and you have mitochondrial DNA. So going back to like middle school science, remember the image of the cell and you have the nucleus and you have all the little characters within the cell. So the nucleus itself has its own DNA and that's from your mom and your dad, right? And that's uh, the pairing. And you only have two, two copies of that. Well, throughout the cell, you have mitochondria and mitochondria is basically what gives your cell energy and all that other stuff. And we don't talk about all that, but within each mitochondria, it contains anywhere from two to 10 copies of its own separate DNA. Okay. So it's separate of the nuclear DNA. Mitochondria is only passed down from the maternal line. So you're only going to have uh, mitochondrial DNA that belong to your mother. And what that means is that, like in the case of, of Rex and his family, Rex and his brother would have identical mitochondrial DNA because it came from his mom. And his mom would have the identical mitochondrial DNA. So when you're scanning mitochondrial DNA, you're only looking at a subset of people from a maternal line. It is not specific. It is only saying these sets of individuals come from this maternal line. So the problem with my mitochondrial DNA is that um, the, the specificity of identifying an individual specifically is not there. You only get that with nuclear DNA, which comes from the, you know, whatever. So for instance, like with, um, they keep saying Asa, her, his wife had hair follicles on some of the bodies. You cannot rule out that it's just Asa. It could be her sister. It could be her children. It could be her mom because that mitochondrial DNA comes from that maternal line. And it is not specific to, no, this is this actual individual. You can't get that type of information from mitochondrial DNA. Wow. So I don't know. That's probably clear as mud. But, yeah, that's that's one of the, the caveats with my But so the reason that they use mitochondrial DNA is, for, is twofold. When you have samples that are super degraded or they're old or anything like that, nuclear DNA is probably going to be hard to harvest anyway. So mitochondrial is a lot more robust. You can find that more often. If you're looking at hair shaft, you don't have any mitochondrial. I'm, I'm sorry. You don't have any nuclear DNA in the hair shaft. You only have mitochondrial DNA. So that's probably why they use mitochondrial DNA. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought that was just... Okay. No, absolutely. I'm glad you added that because, I mean, yeah, it really and could so, still be it, you know, not just him or right. it could be other people. And I'm not saying he didn't do it or he did yeah, do yeah, it yeah, or yeah, anything yeah. like that, but you can't say, oh, we pinpointed it to Rex specifically because of mitochondrial DNA when that is absolutely a false statement, I think, in that it could be his brother, it could um, be his mom, it could be his grandma. You know what I mean? Because of the mitochondrial DNA. It's not that specific as nuclear DNA. Yeah, so, and like yeah. one of the reasons why I wanted you to bring that up just real quick too is that it does remind me a little bit of like this Kohlberger case. Um, I'm just like, right. you know, it just seems like weird stuff with DNA recently. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's just like, oh, like, like, sh like just real shady DNA things. In my right, opinion. right. And that's that's and then the other thing is that if you're running mitochondrial DNA, you have to have a lab specific to run mitochondrial DNA because there has been so many publications that have come out that the readings are off because they didn't they the P, the technicians as well as the laboratory and all that other stuff was not specific for mitochondrial DNA and they got a lot of background or false readings. That was another thing. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, but I'm sure if the FBI is involved, they have a lab. I'm, I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt that they have all the equipment yeah. needed for that. But anyway, okay. Oh, so, see, yeah, um, that's another thing right. real quick. That's even something mm -hmm. we'll get into in the second part. The FBI is involved now. Yes. Before the FBI was asked to be involved, then the dude said, screw off, and we right. don't want to be bothered with you. And then the same right. dude, before you know it's getting arrested for beating the shit out of some yes. crackhead kid that robbed his car and had DVDs of him beating the shit out of hookers. As well as two other people in association with him as well. Yeah, the DA and, this, and this someone kid, else. This kid, I wish I remembered this. He went to court and he, the cop got screwed. Yeah. 
That there tells you that kid was telling the truth. That's even a way sometimes I think they show you. When they want to put their little shit on the TV. If he wasn't, if the kid was found, you know, if the cop got arrested, that means obviously the kid's shit was true. Yeah. So now what happened to the other stuff he said was in the car? Everybody's worried about, I don't know, something else, I guess. Forgot about the DVDs, the, the, the guns, the drugs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. And there was a lot of stuff that came out of that, that vehicle. It was, it was not only videos, but it was also toys, apparently. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. And so, so in, on June 12th, 2022, lab matched mitochondrial DNA profiles to a male hair found on Waterman to a DNA swab from discarded pizza crust outside of Rex's uh, place of work. So Rex was arrested on Thursday, July 13th, 2023 at 8.30, I'm sorry, at 8.39 p.m. on Fifth Avenue of Manhattan, New York. He's Uh, been charged, go ahead. That was 13 years later on the 13th. Right, yes. Um, He's being charged with three counts of first-degree murder, three counts of second-degree murder in the death of three of the 11 victim remains found on Gilgo Beach, Long Island, New York, and he is a prime suspect of the fourth. And down with Rex. Yes, and that was 333, right? Mm-hmm. You could even get like the 369 out of there. Three, yeah. um, very weird. All right, now here is... Uh, is there anything on that that you thought was weird that you want to add before I go on? Um, no, just the, the three threes, the 13 was one, the, um, oh, the, uh, the initials on the belt buckle yeah, so that, um, now. yeah, that the H kind of looks like a Pisces. Yeah. And one of the things that, um, that, that was interesting, it, well, two things that were interesting, the H looks like a Pisces. The, the oh, I will say found, it looks. It could some people could say Pisces yeah. or Gemini. I actually thought or it was a Gemini, Gemini at first, right. but to be totally honest with you, I really think it is a Pisces because of that thing in the middle. You know, right. obvi- yeah. Right. <laughs> to me, it's, right. it's obviously no, a Pisces, absolutely. but I will give you know. Mm-hmm. And the argue. fact that they that the girls were left at the beach, fish mm-hmm. is one, and then um, I believe the girls were buried, or the remains were found twenty two to thirty three feet from the pavement. And so it's interesting that they mention those two names and they're, you know, double, like the fish are double in a Pisces just, yeah, just, or a Gemini. Yeah. So it's kind of this redundancy of doubles or twins, or, twins. or something like that. Yes, mm-hmm. which I think we will yeah. see a lot of twins being mentioned in Gematria. I think so too. And then with the M, when we get later into um, the, the girls, an M is associated with each of the girls. Um, all of them start with an M except for one. But that one also used an alias that started with an M and then had a tattoo of her mom's name that started with an M. So the M kind of sticks out as well. Yes. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get into that, I guess, after we're done, maybe. I wanted to, we will, you do should mention the MMM, but maybe later on. Okay. All right, so yeah, this is the belt buckle I was just showing you. Um, Now I'm going to go into uh, some Dramatria with Rex's name and just a few other things. Um, with Rex, you do get a 385 in Hebrew Gematria, and then English 282 in Simple, you get 47. Um, you have, uh, it matches Mirroring, the Archons, the Dragons, Let's Roll, Lemuri- Lemurian, and Serpent, uh, Circus, Gematria Codes, Midnight Rider, Asterisk, Kim Petrus, Drax, Kleenex, and then you also get Nunet. Nunet is another version of Nuit. Um, in simple Gematria, you get, uh, in English and simple, you get Sarah. You get Beast. Thought that was interesting. You get Babylon, like B-A-B-A-L-O-N, just like it's used in Magic and Crowley. Not Babylon with a Y, and technically... I meant to mention this also. Another reason why I do think this is, you know, kind of possibly a cult. And, you know, excuse the way I'm saying it, but, well, no, I'll say it in a nice way. We did have prostitutes technically buried and killed in the town of Babylon. So, to me, this is very occult-looking already. 
just from seeing sex workers who can be called something else, killed and slayed and buried in Babylon. Right. And you do get Babylon in here with the A. You get Renee, Bull, Ron. Some names I'm mentioning just in case they come back up. Loki, Caesar, Agent, Judge, Ivana, Damon, um, Medical, Hurman. Now you get 409 in Hebrew and then 594 in English and 99 in Simple. Uh, 409, you have Putin, Enlightenment, um, Israeli, uh, Israelites. March 18th, any dates, I'm going to read those out. Behold the Pale Horse, Osmosis, Blue Dragon, Abduction, the Alpha, the Omega. Now, you did mention Omega before. Yes. Defeat ISIS. Then in uh, English, in simple, you will get Jupiter, 13, Ascension, the Egg of Lamb. Lamb was the, you know, the dude that Crowley was uh, contacting, you know, and talking to. The Egg of Lamb, Michelle Obama, <laughs> just toss that in, Fortune, uh, New Moon, and Judgment. Please remember Judgment. Albert Pike, Patriot, Bank of America. You get Golden Dawn also. Now, the AA is also the Golden Dawn and the OTO pretty much mixed. Quicksand, Illinois, Ethereum, Pale Horse. I find that interesting. You get Behold the Pale Horse and then Pale Horse. Um, now, if you put Rex Hurum in together, uh, in, in Hebrew, you get 794. And then in English, you get 876. And then uh, 146 in simple. You get Southern Border Movie Prostitute. This is in Hebrew. Uh, Greyhound, Bavaria, uh, The Last Trump. Lawrence Fishburne, Verde, I included that. That means green, I think, right? Uh, plenty of fish <laughs> by the water, even though that is a dating app. The Kundalini Spirit and Cadaver. Yeah, in English and simple, you get let's go, Brandon. See, like, these are things, oh, re reasons why sometimes I think if everybody's out on the right screaming, let's go, Brandon. How do you know that's not a mantra created by the left that has the numerical value of something else they want you to say? Right. Right. That's why I think these memes and ignorant people posting, the, it's whatever. I don't think it helps. I think you're actually feeding something. Yeah. Ivanka Trump, Greta, Thun uh, Greta Thunberg, whatever, thing, how are you saying it? Game of Thrones, New Jerusalem, Financial Crisis, Dr. Stephen Greer, Truth Social, Leonardo da Vinci, Christy Allen, O Negative Blood, August 8th, uh, Serpent Bearer, Align Twin Flame, DARPA Projects, Cornerstone, Bart Simpson. Uh, I thought this was interesting. Gilgo. A Gilgo in Hebrew gematria equals 93. OTO is mm. Thelemic. Gilgo in uh, English also equals 300. And then 50 in simple. Uh, in Hebrew, you do get Omega. Just like your storage unit. Rage. Milli. Cedar. Um, oh, Sorry, uh, real quick. Um, jumping off of the Hebrew, but going into the English real quick before I get back to the Hebrew. In English, in the 300 and the 50, he also matches Hadith. Or, oh, I'm sorry, Gilgo also matches Hadith. And that is another uh, version of Hadith. Another, going back to the Book of the Law again, Hadith and Nuit. Uh, you have Hadith that equals 350 that matches. And then you have Lens that's 350. Again, back, back to the eye stuff. OTO equals 350. <laughs> and Golgi, obviously, since Gilgo <laughs> matches 93, Golgi's going to. Because you're just switching the I and the O. I-O. I mean, listen, there's even a dude, and I'm not knocking him when I say this, 
I think he's great. I love his stuff. I totally promote him, even though he doesn't need it because he's got a gigantic channel. This true crime dude, Drip Drop, I, I think he's total fucking a, a magician. And again, the D-R-I and the D-R-O. The only difference, you know, and, and then the P, it's just the I and the O. It's the only yeah. difference in those two words. That's done on purpose. That's done on purpose. I mean, it's quite obvious to me. If you go see the guy, you're going to see it's like CGI or makeup. The guy's got like his optic nerves hanging out of his fucking eyes. It's wild. Right. I wish right. I could. I've tried to get him on my show, actually. So I'm not knocking him. <laughs> I was just like, I don't know if he could even pull that off. Because he uses so much uh, CGI, I think, or filters. Yeah. Uh, all right. Then after Golgi, again, you have 93. And that matches the 30 and the 50. Obviously, like I said, because it's just, you know, switching the two letters around. Right. Um, then back to Gilgo, that also matches ID chip, magic ball, bimbo, mock, infidel. A lot of the words from Golgi from the Eyeball series, obviously, are going to show up because it's the same. Right. It's, it's the same word. Yeah. Um, you get then in English and simple with the 300 and the 50, you get June, America, Donald, lion and the snake again, lion, snake. Crowley had the lion and the snake. Baphomet. Chiefs. Right. You got secret chiefs. In case people don't know that, there's supposedly some secret chiefs that, you know, that run this whole game. I call them the secret chefs. <laughs> you know, Crowley went on about the secret chiefs as well. Uh, you get INRI. You get Nazi. Hmm. Maybe it's a form of magic. Uh, you get Fatima. You get Ezra. You get Circle. You get Shin. This I found interesting. With the 300 and the 50, you get Shin. And I was like, well, that's, uh, that's like Hebrew. And I do know it's on tarot cards. And I was like, what tarot card could that be on? And it's on the judgment card. Wow. And I said judgment earlier. And we're going to yeah. see judgment more. And I think judgment day still come up as we go on. Um, real, yeah, We have beach, which is 19, 114, and 19. That does equal egg. And Shabbat. So I thought that was worth bringing up. Adam and DNA. Um, Master Piqua, you get um, 548 for Hebrew, 678 in English, and 113, which is really weird because there's a 112 really close, <laughs> you know, major road. Yeah. That would take you to Mass uh, to uh, Amityville, actually. Oh, um, wow. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's weird. Um you now uh, for the 548. I thought this was rather interesting. Lord of Hosts, Lord of Hosts actually also comes up under Netzach, um, oh, wow. as like uh, angels and stuff. So like yeah. that could even be going back to Kabbalah. Um, Disney, Grammy, Sydney, South Africa, Electromagnetics, Alicia Keys, um, September 15th, The Book of the Lord, Fake Rapture, My Death. Um, in English and simple, you get Apocalypse, Trumpet, Universe, April 8th, which if I remember correctly, April 8th is the first writing of the Book of the Law. Oh. The first day of the writings of the Book of the Law started on April 8th. The Creator, Hyperborea, Child of Light, Dishonest, they have Let's, let's Roll Again comes up in this when it matched Rex. That's weird to me. That's weird. Kevin Gates, weird. Elton John, Pentecost, and Gaslighting. That's probably exactly what's going on. <laughs> Again. Yeah. I think so, too. All right. I'm done with Rex. You can move on. Yeah. One thing, you mentioned Da Vinci. He used mirror writing. And so if you look at the oh. HM, it's like mirror writing. Well, I did even it's, mention mirroring in something, one of those things. Yeah, I know you did. And so that's, it, that's what triggered the Da Vinci thought. So, wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's why I have you on. Okay. So uh, his current wife is named Asa G. Ellerup. Um, her middle name I found to be, I think it's Icelandic of some sort. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce it, but it's, it's, it's Icelandic of some sort. She was born on August of 1963, a month before uh, Rex, and she's 59 years old. Um, her, she, I believe she was previously married with the surname of Sheridan prior to, uh, um, prior to Huberman. 
currently lives in Massapequa Park, same address as Rex. So obviously they were still living together. Attended Farmingdale High School in South Farmingdale, New York. Graduated in 1981. Pursued a nursing career and got her license in 1984. Was working at Long Island Jewish Medical Center in New Hyde Park. Towns of Hempstead and North Hempstead, yeah, you know what, County. When I was reading that stuff, I was like, oh, I was like, yo, I was just out in New Hyde Park not too long ago. And I was trying to think, I was like, what was I there for? And then I was like, oh, yeah, that was the, uh, the Elk Lodge. They went and filmed. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that's just a coincidence, but I just didn't that's think that was That's probably just a coincidence. <laughs> I was just, just like, oh, yeah. Coincidence. Next to the funeral home. Yeah. Um, Mary- <laughs> right, she worked at a funeral home, right? This lady, you know? <laughs> Moonlight. Yeah. Um, she married Rex in 1996, and Rex became a stepfather to her son from a previous marriage. They currently have one daughter together. Her and Rex owe a total of more than 81500 in personal income tax to the state of New York, with the tax bills accruing since November of 2020. Um, in terms of the son, I couldn't find any information. Name, birth date, age. I read a blip that he was in his 30s. I don't know how true that is. But if he was from a previous marriage and they had a daughter together, the daughter is 26 years old. I'm assuming the son is older. Yeah. One, one would surmise. I do um, know for a fact, though, that uh, when I was there, um, yeah, I mean, uh, this is even another thing. You know, I did witness, like, how, oh, God, I guess, like, how fake reporting can end up being. Yeah. You know, like, that was even something I started to realize, because, like, there was a few people that got interviews. There was even somebody that I was actually filming myself, too, even though the news was filming them. There was room for me to stand there. I was filming it, too. I didn't even use it. I, I erased it. Because it was like, you literally just tried to find somebody who was willing to say something weird about this guy. Wow. And the thing is, it's like when you were watching these people, it's almost as if like, like, you know how like people say, oh, like, you know, all the news is our own. And like, you know, I obviously, I mean, that is obvious. And they can yeah. control and manipulate if they want. But mm-hmm. I was just like, yo, going by like, it's like these people that are down there on the streets, it's almost as if like the type of person that they are, this person up at top doesn't even have to tell them to you know give bullshit they're doing they're it because right. they're they want to yeah. because they're after just getting clicks and hits yeah. it was like watching thirsty podcasters fucking for real wow. and i was like yo this is actually weird you know that was when i even started even thinking like it's just, just like we're all out here hoping we see bodies get dragged out of this house and like they're getting all yeah. like excited over it thinking they right. got something Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, and then like just hearing people like trying to get people just to like say something weird about the guy to record him. I was right. just like, yo, this is like so like unauthentic to me. Yeah. To me, to me, it was very unauthentic. Right, right. Looking for that edge. To yeah. Set themselves apart. And it's yeah. just like, you know, I started wondering. I'm like, yo, like it's probably screwed up like without you even having to control yeah. it that much. Exactly. You know, exactly. like on or then again, like you know how easy it is? Like me. I came from anywhere. I could have walked up in there without my cameras and my drones so nobody would have known I was there to record anything. I could have told anybody anything over there. And I could have told just... them I lived down the fucking block and I knew the fucking dude. Yeah. They weren't like asking for people's ID and would you really live here? Oh, yeah, okay, okay. I could have yeah. went up and made up his bullshit story and got on the news and just sold it. I mean, I'm a magician. I could have looked at him straight in the face and told them whatever they wanted to hear. Yeah. And make it and believable. And that would have been your two minutes of fame. Yeah. yeah. I was just like, yo. It crossed my mind at one point. I was like, nah, I can't. I was like, I don't even want to do it like as a troll and be like, you know, even to you know, go show on Twitter and Instagram. Oh, look at me. I troll the fuck. You know, whatever. I was like, yeah. no, nah, I'm not even going to be bothered. I was like, this is crazy. I was like, I can't believe it's like this down here. I, re- I, I did realize, like in that situation, I don't know how other things are. I was like, yo, this is really just clickbait crap people are trying to pull off. Similar to their articles that they put out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, sorry, keep going. No, so their son in a lot of articles indicate that he is partially disabled. No one indicates what, how. Mm. Oh, I think that's what I was going to get at. When I was down there earlier in the day, uh, I 
I wasn't there when I didn't see it, but somebody that I was talking to from the news, they had a new, they actually had one of the passes on their chest, uh, did say that like the bus even had came just before. I think there was like a uh, one of the short buses or whatever. To, they had some sort of bus that was to pick this kid up and take him somewhere, do something with him. Right. It was like coming down the block and like they didn't even know like what happened. And they're like, yeah, you ain't getting down here. That's so sad. Yeah. I was like, wow. They're like, yeah. Wow. They're like, I. They're like, they didn't even notify like the kids' service yet. Yeah, yeah. Well, and when you say bus, immediately I think school kid. You know, I think that's what I thought. And and so I'm thinking. I'm thinking. The, I would I hate to sound like an asshole. I'm thinking like a little short yellow bus. And right, then when I right, found right. out his age, I was like, oh, that could have been like a transport to yeah. like anywhere. Yeah. You know, was he in a wheelchair in the chariot? Right. You know, I don't know. Right. But again, I no one knows anything about the kid except yeah. I say kid, but no one knows anything except that he was partially disabled. No one knows birth date or whatever. So that's just putting it out there that I'm assuming he's older than the daughter. And the daughter is Victoria K. Ewerman. And she was born in 1996. And that is um, that Rex and Asa um, parents of, and was working at Rex's place of work um, prior to uh, him being arrested. Yeah. So with Asa, um, an interesting thing with Asa is that multiple hairs were found on multiple bodies. Oh, just real quick. Now, Go yes, ahead. since that is his... I'm wondering if the sun could even match the DNA, but that's no. The, the, yes, the, oh, sun would ma- the, the sun would match Asa's DNA, mitochondrial DNA. This is kind of why I was saying what I said at the beginning. Yeah, okay. so, right. so the, when, when they indicated that they found hairs on three of the bodies and they belonged to Asa... My, and they said mitochondrial DNA, because it's hair, because it's degraded. My immediate thing was they can't rule out the son or the daughter. Yeah, I want to. I want to hear more about this person that would match the same thing, actually. Correct. And we don't now, know no, it, nothing about this kid, actually. Correct. And the thing is, were the hair was the hair yellow? Was the hair brown? Was it short? Was it long? I mean, I mean, some sort of indication that it came from, uh, you know, somebody with long hair, somebody with blonde hair, somebody with, you know, all that other information. But in terms of just mitochondrial DNA, yes, her son and her daughter would have identical mitochondrial DNA to herself as her sister, Asa's sister or brother or mother would have identical mitochondrial DNA. This is the problem with mitochondrial DNA. It is, it is not, uh, the specificity is not, as with nuclear DNA. So, yeah. And they keep ruling so, yeah, out. I think what I'm, what, what I'm trying to show is that, like, there is a very, there's actually, everybody, like, kind of, like, in that family. Yeah. <laughs> kind exactly. kind yeah. of is still a suspect if you want to go by DNA. Correct. You know, and, unless, hey, unless, listen, maybe they, they did their due diligence and they, you know, took everybody out of the equation. Well, I would like to see how that was done. Right, right. And they, they go further and to say that everybody was gone, the mom, Asa, and the two kids were gone at the time of the disappearances. And they went ahead and they say that, okay, these were the Twitter entries indicating that she was out of state. And then um, these were uh, the pings on her cell phone indicating she was out of, not out of state. Yeah. Um, so, that's they they've kind of done their whole coverage on that um but that's not to say did the did the kid go with them did the daughter go with them no, or said even the kids those were other gone. people on the other side of the family that could have done it too i mean correct so i mean again i'm not saying just, that they did it's just that there is a lot of people that actually would still fit that dna correct yeah if you're going to go with the fine tooth comb go with the fine tooth comb um, on her Twitter entries, November 5th, 2009, she was in Baltimore, Comic-Con, May 24th, Iceland, 24th of April, Boston. She went by the Twitter handle Elvin Maiden, and I think that's been since, um, yeah. account's been suspended. Reported travel was Iceland between July 8th and August 2009, Maryland between July 4th and 8th of 2010, and New Jersey between August 28th and September 5th of 2010. And that's pretty much all I have for Asa. 
Okay, I'll pull up what I have. All right, so you get 482 in Hebrew, and you get 660 in English, and 110 in uh, simple. That's even like another major road. <laughs> uh, ri- uh, rigged and stolen. Sunshine, North Carolina, Messianic Israel. Thor's hammer. Now, he does mention something. Rex had mentioned something about yeah. like his fav- favorite tool being a, a hammer. hammer. Mm-hmm. Some you know, weird interview. Right. Yeah, sorry, he just said that in an interview. Uh, communism, producer, Black Square, Children of the right, uh, Light, Red Truck. This one got me good. Perdorabo. <coughs> Perdorabo was one of Crowley's pen names. Check it out. Page of Cups. And then in simple in English, Elon Musk, Adolf Hitler, Starship, COVID vaccine, 70, Stormy, Dance Monkey, Minnesota, Meditation, Grim Reaper, Pole Shift, Seat of Set, Vibration. Those were a lot, if people haven't heard in the Eyeball series, those were a lot of the same things that were coming up then. Uh, Then Asa, you have 92, 126, and 21. Uh, you get fear, bread, enigma, beer, and fallen. Nothing too crazy, really. Uh, but with the the simple and uh, and English, the simple and the English, you did get cicada. You know, it does remind me of like cicada three three zero one, and cicadas are used like as occult symbolism. Um, then Ellera, or however you say her last name, you get three ninety five thirty four, and then eighty nine. Three ninety is Fortnite, the atomic bomb. Agent Smith, Golden Knights, Time Bandits, Blue Angels, Easter Eggs, The Rabbit Hole, Knox. Knox is a formula in Crowley's rituals that he wrote. N-O-X. Wild. So again. That's crazy. You get Perturabo, who is Crowley, and N-O-X, which is his formula. Probably this whole situation is a magical formula. Nationalism. August, and now in English in simple, August, Osiris, Summer, Virus, King James, Winter, Fallen Angels, uh, no, Fallen Angel, and The Beehive. Uh, The Light, Seraphim, End Times, Mystic, and Solomon. And then I have... uh, I think I'm done with that, and you can move on to uh, whoever you have next. So, See, like, even I, again, like, I, and I'm sorry, I, I should have. No, it's okay, it's okay. I told you to go, and then, but, like, yo, that was a lot of Thelemic stuff right there, I think. You got Crowley, yeah. you got the NOX again. Right. Other things that came up that just seem a little weird. Um, no, 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 I mean, I, sure. think, I think so far almost everything I've touched on had some sort of Thelemic shit in it. Yes, it did. So the the daughter, Victoria K. Heuerman, uh, date of birth was October 1996. She's about 26 years old. Uh, She was currently living or is listed living with um, Asa and Rex, who are her parents. She graduated from New York Institute of Technology with a BFA in Fine Arts in 2019 and was working at RH Consultants, listed as one of the four key members of his team on the company website at the time of Rex's arrest. And everything's very limited on Victoria. I mean, it's it's extremely hard to find. Or at least for me it was. So that's all I have on Victoria. Okay. All right, I'll bring her up. I didn't run Hewerman again, obviously, because, I mean, that's the last name that's she has with him. Yes, yeah. yeah, so I wasn't going to bother yeah. doing that again. But I, uh, I do have uh, some stuff on her. Um, here we go. Victoria Hurman, the whole name together. God's Judgment on America, 57. Uh, Adversary, Mm -hmm. Following the Snake, Howard Hughes. Anton LaVey, 750. Murder by Numbers, Christian Woman. I don't know, made me think of the typo negative song. Figured I'd throw that in there. Because I do think O Negative Blood comes up in something too that I have. 
Right. Uh, right. Then in English and simple meaning of your name, one world economy, seven times seven, Powerball numbers, uh, faithless electors, Quetzalcoatl wife. That's now, I weird. thought that was interesting because when you had mentioned Nevada, when me and Lux covered the order of Quetzalcoatl, they were big over there. Yeah. It could be coinc coincidence. Rise of the yeah. Phoenix. I mean, that's very Quetzalcoatl as well, in my opinion. Um, then in Victoria, um, 952, 582, and 97. 952, Bo. I do find that interesting because it's kind of like Hermes Lane. Uh, all for love. Priscilla Presley or Archer, you know, satanic ritual abuse, proof in zodiacs, psychonaut, divine cosmic, um, fourth dimension cube, Saturn death cult, crypto, Capricorn, serpent, this is the English and simple, Jabulon, now this is with the L-U-N, but still kind of like a form of it. Because I do have other forms of it later on, so I'm including them. Asmodeus is another demon. Fire dragon. Fentanyl, Poseidon, and Blue Rose. I highlighted the Blue Rose for all you Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me fans. Gotta follow the Blue Rose. The Beatles and Egyptian. It also a uh, match that I just wanted to throw up in there. And that's all I got on her. All right, so you can move on. So the next person that I'm going to cover is uh, Rex's brother, Craig Arnold yes. Hewerman. And now Craig, uh, his date of birth is February 1966, and he's younger than Rex at 57 years of age. His current address is right next to the property that Rex has in South Carolina. So it's uh, the, the property is 1031 Rippling Brook, Drive. I couldn't discern whether uh, he Craig lived there or it's part of Rex's and he just lives on it or whatever. But that was the only address listed for both of them. But his property is right next to Rex's. And it's in Chester, Chester County, South Carolina. In 1988, Craig was convicted of killing City Housing Authority police captain on a, in a head-on collision at 9.25 a.m., going 61 miles an hour with a 0.2 blood alcohol level and a 0.05 milligram blood cocaine level. Craig was 22 at the time, pled guilty, and did a three-year sentence for criminally negligent homicide in a minimum security prison located in Gabriel's, New York. He was paroled in August of 1990, which would allow him to be the best man at uh, Rex's wedding to his first wife. And that's all I have for Craig. Oh. And now I included him just because he's you know, part of the family. Uh, his full name, Craig Human, uh, that is what, 509 in Hebrew and then 822 in English and then 137 in simple. You get Ron DeSantis, Ammunition, Desert Rose, Edgar Casey, Light and Darkness, and Huntsman. I just thought those might have been interesting. Uh, in English and simple, you get tomorrow, Vincent Fusca, Eye of Horus, Anthony Fauci, Great Pyramid, Mind Control, Toilet Paper, Earth Twins, Your Father, Royal Family, Suicide Weekend, Santa Morte, Zoroaster, Lucky Seven, and Church of Satan. Craig by itself, 100, 228. In English, and then simple, 38. In the 100 for Hebrew, you get Fire, Gemini, Drake, Africa, Magician. And then in English, in simple, you get Death, Noah, Kabbalah, Fire, Alpha, Africa. Again, it matches Africa the whole way across. Club and uh, Adidas. Uh, Ocean, Adolf, Eggs. Um, so you're seeing a lot of, I, I just to insert, you're seeing a lot of du du double numbers, you know, 1988, 22, 66. Yes. I mean, it just, and it continues throughout all the way through into the victims. So the next uh, person that I'm going to cover is Rex's dad. His name was Theodore J. Hewerman, born July, 1925 and died in 1975 
Theodore was 50 at the time and Rex was 11 at the time of his father's death. In these articles, he is supposedly an aerospace engineer who built satellites, but I couldn't find anything in terms of his name listing on any kind of company website or affiliate or anything like that. Um, and then he also was a cabinet maker, and that was pretty much all I could find on. Um, I think he went by Theo, but uh, birth name was Theodore. Okay. I, got, I don't got much on him that really that was that interesting, but I'll, right. I'll just cover it real quick just in case anybody else sees anything. Uh, I even just skipped straight to this English and simple. Um, okay. I think, yeah, is that what that is? Uh, is it one eighty one. Yeah. That is uh, his full name. You would have Merry Christmas. 11, 11, 11. X marks the spot. February 7th. I just highlighted every date regardless. Bears mark, uh, Bears mark of the Beast. February 15th and Tennessee Titans. Theodore by itself is Laura. Church. The Egg of Doth. Doth is a sphere on the Tree of Life or... The invisible one, the extra one, whatever you, however you want to look at it. Groomer, Omnicron. You also get January, Matthew, Sebastian, Netflix, Holy Bible, and Polaris. The Moon, Maxwell, Brad Pitt, Oxygen, Pleiadians, The Magician, and Trident. That's crazy. Yep. Uh, well, Moon, yeah. Satellite, Eleven, Eleven. Rex was 11. It just... Yeah. Yeah. Even like Magician, I pulled up... Magi I think there's Magician phrased a few times too. By the time we're done, we definitely will be. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so what if you want... Okay, you have so De I have Dolores, the uh, mom. Perfect. Dolores yes. R. Hewerman. She was born on May 25th, 1930. She is currently still alive. At 93 years of age. Huh. And 93. Yeah. And um, so Rex, Rex, Craig, and Dolores and, and um, Theodore all lived at the house that Rex currently lives at now. And so in 1994, Rex bought that house from his mom for $170,000. And that's all I have on her. 17. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right, Dolores. Okay, for Dolores, I have Dolores uh, Hewerman. Ishtar's son. Well, it's 708 for Hebrew. 1122 for English. Double twins. And the 187. Which I find is interesting because it's in like homicide or whatever. 187. Yeah. Yeah. Ishtar's son, the Holy Grail, Forrest Gump, Magnum Opus, Sorcery, Rising from the Ashes, and Money Magnet. Blue Ray, Nautical Phrases, Gotham City, Typhoon, Ashtar Horus. Uh, in English and simply, we get Lisa Marie Presley, George Washington, November 7th, Purple 13, November 15th, Most Divine Birth, Andrew Emery Tate, June 17th, Sword of the Truth, and I am the Alpha and the Omega. Find the Antichrist, February 11th, Bloodline of the Gods, and 7th of November, November 7th. Dolores, by uh, just the name by itself, 299 in Hebrew, 528. And then you get the double eights, the crazy eights, 88 for Dolores and simple. Uh, in the Jewish, you have poison, Gnostic, scarlet, palindrome, April 5th. Uh, then you also, wow. Damn, that's real. Uh, then with the 299 again, it also equals April 8, which again, Book of the Law. Yeah. Apocalypse. No, I, uh, Apocalypse. Yeah, Apocalypse. Theater. Bill Cooper. Blue Kachina. I started highlighting because I started noticing blue. 
Even though it was like maybe blue something, blue dragons, blue kachina. Started noticing blue a lot. Shamanism, moonlit, blood clot. Uh, and then in the uh, English in simple, Trump, purple, Uncle Sam, marijuana, Vladimir, uh, Vladimir Tataria, Emmanuel, which I did say I did notice those churches around right. the Freemasons. Walmart, Epstein, Bloodline, Cigarette, Vision, Get Out, Moscow, May 5th, 4th, Scotland, Window, Pegasus, Artificial, Miscavige. Made me think of Scientology. I had to highlight that one. All right, you can go. So the the next person is Rex's first wife. Her name is Elizabeth R. Ryan. Date of birth is June 1961. She's the ex-wife. Graduated from St. Peter's High School, Montclair State College, bachelor's in, admin, in business administration, was a junior planner at New York, Jersey office supply company when she married Rex. Rex was 26 at the time. They married in New Brunswick, New Jersey at St. Peter's Church in 1990. And Craig was the best man. Yeah. Um, and that, that, was, that was it. That's no one, no indication of why they got divorced or anything like that. Okay, now to get to Elizabeth Ryan in Gematria. I was having technical difficulties and I had to edit a bunch out. So you probably watched the screen just change by itself. Um, now to cover Elizabeth Ryan. Uh, her would be uh, 1171 in Hebrew, 876 in English, and 146 in simple. Um, you do get 007, which I found interesting. Evil Dictators, Mark Twain, uh, 30 Minutes. Um, and then in English in simple, you also get, again, Let's Go Brandon. Central Casting, East Palestine, Ivanka Trump, Greta Thunberg, Game of Thrones. I mean, these are these are things that I actually read off before. Prince of Wales, mm -hmm. this matched somebody else I don't even remember. Obviously. Damn. So, like, that was even another thing I missed. So, like, these, I, uh, obviously, is from somebody else that I just read. Um, so, that's, like, weird to me. Um, the O Negative Blood. April mm -hmm. 8th comes up again. Again. Perfect number. Serpent Bearer. Align Twin Flame. DARPA Projects. Bart Simpson. This all came up before. And then before I had uh, Dolores up and she had uh, she had 528 for English and 50 for simple. And Elizabeth has 528 and 88 for simple as well. So even in English and simple Dramatria, yeah. those two wives numerically match the same shit. Yeah. Now Elizabeth in... Hebrew, you get 650. That could be uh, 58. Blackjack, Duran Duran. Days of Noah, Luxar. Blackjack. Uh, time is of the essence. Yoko Ono. The cops are in on it. That comes up. You get Trump, Purple, uh, Uncle Sam, Marijuana. You know, I've read these things before. Same for Dolores. Oh, and you know what else? That also uh, goes... I don't know if I read it off before. Zodiac does show up also for uh, yeah. Ryan. I'll just do it on yeah. here so I can finish on here and make it easier. Instead of trying to pull up the picture. All right, then on here for Ryan, uh, you do get 521 for Hebrew... 348, and then 58 in Simple Gematria. Uh, you get XRP Gold, Pharmaceutical, Black Operations, Sandra Bullock, um, March 6th. Here comes the boom. Satanists. Uh, felony. Saturnia. And then under Results for English in Simple, you do get XRP. Calendar, Star, Lily, Sarah, Facebook, um, Hammer, Jesse. Again. Yes, Hammer. Lady Gaga, Angels, and 
indigo. Yeah. Cookie again. Cookie. I had cookie a lot in the I series and a lot in this. All right, so then I am uh, I am done with that then. Okay. All right, what else do you got? So I'm sorry. I got uh, real quick just some names and, and numbers with Gilgo Beach Homicide Investigation Task Force. Okay. Um, on it. the actual website for the task force, it says it was formed on February 15, 2022. But if you listen to most of the pundits on YouTube or, or whatnot, it's usually just on video because everything written down in articles is saying the 15th. But if you listen to these people on um, YouTube and stuff like that, they're saying February 1st. So I went ahead and with, with the official website of what they listed. Mm -hmm. It was created in Suffolk County by Police Commissioner Rodney Harrison. Um, press release forming of the task force was February 15th. Um, it is made up by the Suffolk County PD, Suffolk County Sheriff's Office, Suffolk County DA Office, New York State Police, and FBI. And yes, the FBI was, was early on, they were trying to, or they were there um, with the previous, and they were basically you know, I guess asked to leave or no longer included. And so now they are included in this task force. Um, one of the things with uh, the task force, within a month on March 14th of 2022, Rex Hewerman was first mentioned as a sub suspect. So yeah, it was right off the bat, right after the formation of the task force, almost a month later, if you go by the, you know, creation on the 15th, it was almost to the date that Rex Hewerman was meant, was first mentioned as a suspect. And they were the ones that released um, the information on uh, the actual WH or HM on the belt. So. All right, and that's right. all I have for the, the task force. Okay. Did you, um, the victims? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, so the first I, victim. I figure, no, well, and then fine. we'll wrap it up here. Uh, that's totally everybody. fine. Yeah, everybody listening, I, I do think that this, uh, you know, I know some of the Jamachi at the beginning seems pretty. Actually, I really do think it was relevant throughout all of it. But I really do think like I the think first so two thirds of it was like really on point. It's going to get like just as good as that now with these girls, the tattoos. Oh, yeah. So, and then we're going to wrap it up here. And like I said, in part two, I'm going to go check more into the task force, bring up the old stuff. And then I do think there is a lot of stuff being said and shown to us in the news and articles that will be in the second one. So definitely keep listening. If you made it this far, this is going to make it a hell of a lot more interesting. All right, okay. so go ahead. So the, the first three victims are the ones that he's being charged with. And the last four is the one that's the suspect for. So Melissa Bartholomew is, was born on July 10th, 1985. So she was 24 at the time of her disappearance. She was born in Buffalo, New York and stood at four foot 11. She was a sex worker using the aliases Chloe or very sexy Chloe advertising on Craigslist and back page. She had tattoos with the words blaze and focus. She was last seen at her apartment located on 1149 Underhill Avenue in Bronx on July 12th, 2009. Cell phone records show Melissa traveled from the Bronx to Manhattan that night and later that month, Melissa's cell phone, after she had disappeared, Melissa's cell phone was used to call her sister Amanda several times on July 16th, 19th, and 23rd. And that's speculative, but that was listed, so I went ahead and included it. In the calls, um, the calls were re repeatedly vulgar, mocking, and insulting from a man on the other line and eventually telling Amanda that her sister was dead. The calls were believed to have come from a, from the near, sorry, calls from or or near Port Authority bus terminal on 8th Avenue near Penn Station. Melissa's body was found on the north side of Ocean Parkway near Gilgo Beach, and it was found on December 11, 2010. And it was the first body found um, when they were, when the, they were looking for Shannon Gilbert or the dog, was doing a training exercise and they came up on the body. Gotcha. And that's all I have for Melissa. Okay. All right, so I'll pull that up. Melissa, Melissa Bartholomew, however you said it. So. All right, that is 896 for Hebrew. And then I'm pretty sure I said this before. 
eleven twelve for English and one eighty seven. Simple. Almost positive I already said that. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> In 896, you get my family, you get Quetzal, uh, genetically modified children, the book of Azrael, the book of Raziel, Trump make America great again, All Souls Day, the age of Aquarius, a 33, Kennedy Space Center, and then results by English in the simple. Um, you do get Lisa Marie Presley, I mentioned that before, George Washington, November 7th, Purple 13. All of those I mentioned before because it matched somebody else already. Uh, Melissa, 245 in Hebrew, 468. That's very, that's like the, the path of Tahuti, 468. Wow. And then the crazy thing is, is where he falls on the tree. Melissa is 78. He's the seventh, he's the eighth sphere across from the seventh. He's on the bottom. Wow. That's crazy. Uh, uh, in the Hebrew, a few things that it does match is Orlando, Lisa Marie, and Sacred Code. Then Melissa in, in English, the 468, does also match pizza, which has 468. Wow. And the numerical value uh, also of 78, just like Melissa in 78 in simple English. So pizza and Melissa both match in English in simple. Uh, there's it, Now the... The Hebrew gematria of pizza is different. It's 1070. I am going to read a few of those off, though, because I did think that was interesting. Quetzalcoatl, Zelensky, Marty McFly, March 7th, race war. Uh, Putin killed by NATO. Now, remember in the I series, I forgot the date. Supposedly, he's getting killed on some date with the eyeball stuff. So if he dies and it's from NATO, we called it first. We did. Yeah. Then... Uh, then uh, you got um, code, then back to the uh, 245 with Melissa in Hebrew. We have code breaker, cannibalism, Deer Park, which is another town in Long Island, Alpha Omega Code, Def Leopard, the face of God. Uh, the English in simple for Melissa, you have October, Genesis, Kennedy, Pizza, like I said, Let's Go, Mr. Beast, Red Wave, In Heaven, Jumanji, Left Eye, Scarlet, Ketamine, and Tucker. Barthelemy, you have 651, 654, and 109. 651, you have Aquarius, Patsy, Final Trumpet, 17, Los Angeles, Saturday, Scorpion, 84, Net Netanyahu, Samuel Adams, uh, Book of Enoch, The Titanic, The Black Beast, Turkey, Magic Eight Ball, John Mayer, Succubus, and Air Force One. Um, now, was she the one with the tattoos? Yes, she's the one that had uh, yes. Blaze and Focus. All right, so Focus. 349, 384, and 64. 349, you have Nuclear, Sam Bankman Freed, Ace of Hearts, Nuit. Focus equals Nuit in Hebrew. Also, Capstone and Pupil, back to the eyeball. April 18, Dale Earnhardt, a pole shift. Which, you know, that's interesting because Nui starts the book off on April 8th. And then April 18th. Yeah, April 18th. Dale Earnhardt, a pole shift, Sega Genesis. Then in English and simple, you have Takeoff, Joe Biden, Titan, Musk. Remember Musk. You have Musk, Zion, and you have Thelema. Thelema matches it also. Michigan, Mercy, Amtrak, Tiamat, Klaus, Spell, Gitmo, and Israel. Now Blaze. In Hebrew, you get 528, and then in English, 276, and then 46 for simple. Now... 64 was focus. So now even the tattoos basically flip the number value. You get in the 528 for Hebrew, the key, constellation, Helter Skelter. Papa Smurf, American Hoax, Illusions. Ancient Sun, Logos are Sigils, very much in the podcasting community. 
And then in simple in, in English, you get codes and Elon. This girl has Elon Musk tattooed on her back. <laughs> Soul, Tate, Chaos with a C. Dove, MRN, MRNA, and Frog. Link and Shaddai. Hands, Uber, and Gamel, and Magical. Gamel, another thing that is another uh, word that is on tarot cards, and that is on the High Priestess card. Uh, and then I have Megan. Okay. So you can okay. Um, Megan Waterman was born on January 18th, 1988. So she was 22 at the time of her disappearance. She was born in Portland, Maine. She stood at 5'5", raised in Scarborough, Maine, had a three-year-old daughter, Liliana, at the time of her disappearance. Sex worker was She was a sex worker using aliases Lexi or Sexy Lexi, also advertising on Craigslist and Backpage. She was last seen um, on surveillance footage on June 6, 2010, showed her leaving the Holiday Inn Express alone at 1.30 a.m. on foot. And I believe the Holiday Inn Express is 23 miles from the place that she was found. Almost exactly. Oh, wow. Um, records suggest her phone traveled to Massapequa Park with cell site location near uh, Huron's home. So she was found on December 13th of 2010, and she, along with three others, were the ones that were found all on the same date. And that's all I have for Megan. All right. So the Megan Waterman, uh, the full name, I, I, neither I didn't transfer the screenshots from whatever the screenshot folder or erase them by accident or whatever. And I'm not going to try to pull it up on the screen again. You just have to take my word for it. It's 128 for Megan Waterman in Hebrew. Uh, and then in English, it's 894. And then 149 in simple. Uh, in 128, you do get uh, Water Rabbit, um, Just Us. Age of Aquarius Planet lineup. Chevy Tahoe. And then in the English and Simple Dramatry, you have Skull and Bones, 25. This I found weird. It's missing one letter. It's Liber L. Vel Legis. If it was Liber L. Vel Legis, it would be the Book of the Law. You get April 7th, <laughs> which is the day before it was written. Yeah. 66, 47, end of the world, strawberry, uh, the anointed one. Uh, what else? Corruption, sweet Caroline, astral travel, flux capacitor, Edward Snowden, new currency, holy of holies, and Dolores Canyon. Canyon. Yeah. Uh, 11 you 19. said sixty. You said sixty-six. That's when yeah. the surveillance footage was on Ju on six six twenty ten, when they last saw. Her. Oh, sh wow. yeah. Damn. Okay. Okay. Now this is Megan, just the name Megan mm -hmm. by itself. You get uh, eighty-three, two forty, and forty. Eighty-three. You get CNN, Moab, Haniel, which is an angel. Then in simple. In uh, English, you get blue, again, blue, CERN, Coffee, Buddha, Fauci, and Liar. Nothing too crazy, but just included that. Um, Waterman, 1157, 570, and 95. 1157, Perfect Vision, Mary Jane, King of Wands. Teal Swan, Jamie Lee Curtis. Now, if you think about it, I had Page of Cups, King of Wands. I have had things from tarot and then, like, letters that are also on tarot cards. So I even find this interesting That's with crazy. a lot of tarot with this. Uh, yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis, Teal Swan, Teal Swan, another scam artist. Uh, a bowl, bowl of virus, Pyramid of Giza, Green Witch. Then in the simple in English, you have Tuesday, Sirius, Scorpio, Ethereum, Kundalini, Halloween, Pineal Gland, The Weekend, Deep State, Neptune, and Pentagram. Halloween, I even put a little mark next to it because, like, even this is going to be weird, but like a lot of stuff with the Kohlberger case and the Kopecker case 
there is a lot of Halloween and Scream symbolism and all that stuff. So, that is well, you said door. you said you know the thirteen keeps popping up. Yes. Um, you know, his birthday when he got arrested when they found the three bodies. It was on December thirteenth. So, mm-hmm. yeah. All right, and now you can go on to what is the next one, Amber? Right, Amber, Amber Lynn Costello. She was born February tenth, nineteen eighty three. She was 27 at the time of disappearance. She was born in Charlotte, raised in Wilmington, North Carolina, and stood at also 411. Sex worker using aliases Carolina, which you mentioned in the previous one, I think, or Mia. Um, so she went by Carolina or Mia. She had a tattoo with the word chaos, K-A-O-S, on her neck, a butterfly on her lower back, and the name Margaret on her leg, which was the name of her mother. I believe her mother had passed on uh, prior to her disappearance. She also advertised on Craigslist and Backpage, last seen uh, at her home at 1112 America Avenue in West Babylon, New York, on September 2nd, 2010, by acquaintances. She was found on December 13, 2010. That's what I got for Amber. Yeah. All right, well, for Amber Lynn Costello, we have... Uh... 956 in uh, Hebrew, and then 230 in English, and 205 in simple. In the Hebrew, you get vaccination, singularity, solar system, Zoroaster. That was interesting. Uh, oh. Vaughn, mind control techniques. And Kentucky Fried Chicken. So nothing like really too crazy with her full name. Uh, now on to Amber, you get 118, 234, and 39. 118, you get death, clone, hook, homicide, chokma. That is part of uh, you know, the tree of life. And then in English and simple, you get May, Angel, Enki, Drake, Meta, Nike, New York, Lego, Rat, Cobra, Ox, HIV, and Kamala. Costello, 338-606-101. 338-Sebastian, Antarctica, Trident, Rockets, Spiders, The Rose, 919, Sodomite, Lockstep, Mirrored, Coffee Cup. Then in English and Simple, Tree of Life, Mikilzadek, Philadelphia, Climate Change, Yeezus, Palestine, Dinosaur, Crowley, Little Wayne, Mount Shasta, Ace of Hearts, Blasphemy, uh, Moldavite, Darth Vader, Echo Waves, and Full Circle. Wow. Yes. And then Carolina was a name that she went by, right? Yeah, she went by Carolina or Mia. Okay, Carolina, I have 438, uh, 204 for Hebrew, 438, and then 73. For the 204, I have Ordinal. Penis, Sabbath, Sight, Empath, The Ark, Cosmic Egg. And then for the English in simple, Sacrifice, Egypt, 18, Nimrod, Nibiru, Ordinal, matches I think all the way around, Crown, Ezekiel, Copper, Gordon, Tweet, Mouse, Orgasm, and Namaste. And it also matches the hermit. The hermit matches 438 and, uh, yeah, it matches it that way. With the 438 and the 73 in the simple in English. And then she also had, was she the one with the chaos tattoo? Yes, 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 she was. Yeah. That uh, chaos with a K, 151 in Hebrew, and then 276 and 46 in English and simple. 151, you get God's MRNA, the Bible, Amon, Tau, and Frankie. Tau's may go on some clothings and some secret societies. PSA, Ganesh, Alpha God, the Eagle, Gargamel, Adrenal. And then in English and simple, you get Elon, you get Tate, you get Chaos with a C. You get mRNA, and you get frog, and you get Shaddai, and you get Damien. Wow. 
And then Butterfly, 913, 774 and 129. In the 913, you get Joe Biden Beast, Elton John, Beast System, Astro Symbol, Gonsalves, which is another person involved in another, the Idaho 4. So now I really got to check this out. Because I'm almost positive I've seen somebody doing an interview with a butterfly on this shit. Pretty in Pink, Never Mind. Maybe that's where Kurt Cobain got the album name from. Jabulon, spelt a different way. J-A-B-U-L-O-N. Never Mind again. Octavio. And then the English in simple for that would be Hollywood, Giza Pyramid, Judgment Day. Lucifer Satan, Chris Brown, number three, Anton LaVey, Goddess Isis, Toll Whites, Arnold Palmer, 95, Locomotive, and 318. And that's what I have for her. And Judgment, you said that with yeah. uh, Rex back when we were doing him. Yes. Oh. Okay. So um, the next one I have is Maureen so the last, so yeah, the last three are the ones that he's being charged with, and this fourth one is the one that he is a suspect in. He is not being charged for her um, death yet. So uh, Maureen Bernard Barnes was born on June fourteenth, nineteen eighty two, in New London, raised in Norwich, Connecticut. She was twenty five at the time of her disappearance, and she also stood at four eleven, uh, four feet eleven inches. She was a sex worker that went by the names Juliana or Marie, advertising on Craigslist and Backpage. Her MO was to travel to Manhattan for a few days and then return back home to her address at 180 Prospect Street in Norwich, Connecticut. Um, she was last seen July 9th, 2007. Um, she phoned a friend in Connecticut from a motel in New York at 11.43 p.m., she was found on December 13th, 2010. So she, if she is part of it, of the Gilgo Four, um, she's part of the Gilgo Four, but if she's part of uh, Rex's, Rex. yeah, she would have been the first one um, because she was the, she disappeared in 2007. Um, one thing I wanted to mention, we can mention it later, is that all four girls have an M associated with their name. Amberlynn Costello obviously doesn't have an M, but if you went by one of her aliases, which was Mia, or um, the tattoo on her leg, Margaret, for her mom, they all have an M in there. So I would mention that as well. And all, um, all uh, Waterman, Costello, and Brainard Barnes were found within 500 feet of each other. Um, it is suspected that their method of, of or their they died by strangulation, and I think I mentioned it earlier that all of them were found within twenty two to thirty three feet of the pavement. So that's it. That's all I have for Maureen. Maureen. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned the uh, MMM and uh, well, and you and that there would be three too that I find very weird at four eleven. Right. And then like again, it's like all right, if you want to go with including Doth, there would be eleven spears. Again, four is an abundance of energy. Again, even one of the girls was with Choke Mart even came up. Four and two, between those two spheres, I could see like a lot of death going on because of like chaos and explosive energy and things like, right. you know, changing. Right. Um, and then... And it, he was... A Go he ahead. was arrested on he was arrested on Thursday, which I believe you have mentioned in the past. Oh, it's for Jupiter in abundance. Yeah. Again, yes. And he was also on the 13th, correct? Correct. I yes. mean, again, you could add one and the three together and you'll get four again, which would go with, right. you know, Chesed and Jupiter and Abundance. Mm -hmm. you know, um, I am going to show, uh, yeah, they, I'm glad that you said the MMM because uh, that is something that I want to show. I do find that familiar. I mean, interesting. I do find that interesting. I know she's not one of the people, but... If she ends up becoming one of them, I mean, the, the OTO does have the MMM. And I'll show that right here. The MMM. And that is like the manifesto for, uh, let me pull it up here. Manifesto of the MMM. This manifesto is no longer valid as Freemasons are no longer directly admitted to the grades of the OTO and as the locations. Officers, subscription fees, blah, blah, blah. 
But there was, you know, supposedly the manifesto of the MMM. The MMM, Mysteria Mystica Maxima, is the name of the British section of the OTO that includes all countries where English is generally spoken. And then it lists all these people off, and then it even throws in, uh, you know, uh, some of their saints and stuff. But the MMM, people can go look at it themselves. Uh, you know, first degree is Minarval, second degree is M, second degree is M, third degree is M, and then PM. You know, you can go look at the site yourself, but that is, you know, associated mm -hmm. with uh, the OTO for people to check out if you want to. Yeah. And if you place the M on its side, it's a three. Yes, and then you get the three, three, three. Yeah. Where did that come up again before with the three, three, three? Well, the um, well, thirty-three from the actual uh, distance from the body. Oh no, his charges. His three. charges, yeah, yes. and then his charges three for first degree, three for second degree, and then he's being charged with three um, of the victims that were found. That's weird, right? I, I think so. I think that's that's pretty. Pretty redundant. <laughs> yeah. All right. Then uh, here we have Maureen Bernard Barnes, 796 in Hebrew, 1218 and 203 in English. 796, uh, you get Save, Atlanta Child Murders, Sumerian Anunnaki, Artificial Intelligence, Legend 33. Again, some 33 in there somehow. Nuclear Explosion. 33rd degree also. <laughs> Tell you. Uh, then Maureen, you get Hebrew 361 and then 462 and 77. 361, you get Atlantis, Penguin, Stars, Potato, Satanism. Shot and Killed, Samson, Gang Stalker, Hierophant. Hierophant. Another uh, card. The Dragon King. I've mentioned a few different types of dragons. Miserable Pink. Not pretty in pink anymore. And then you also get in English and simple, you get Christ, Kenneth, Kenneth Anger, Matter, Stars, <laughs> Kenneth Grant, <laughs> uh, Thanos, Ashton, Hexagram, Cookies again, Jameson, Big Scar, which we did mention in the eyes. So this much of match something in the eyes. And it was yeah. two R's, so I remembered that. Right, right. Sacrificed. Then Bernard, you get Brandon, Nessera, Cookies, Iron Eagle, Merrick, which is another town not too far away from Aspequa. Left Ear, Catfish, Honey, and then in the English and Simple, Honey, Satanic, Italy, Tron, Killer, Clown, Avalanche, Avalanche. Avalanche. Chevy L, Avalanche, Chevy Tahoe. Uh, Lionel, Ashtar, uh, Croatia. Then Barnes in 218, uh, for Hebrews 218, English 354, and the simple 59. 218, Hermes, Black Dragon, Agrippa, who Agrippa, Cornelius Agrippa has like, it's like a, a magic book. I think it's from like the 1500s. Uh, like any magician, so. half ass magician. Should know what that is. So, and if, if people haven't heard of it before, then that shows you how much you don't know. Not to try to be an asshole. I just I just find it funny when people want to say like you're wrong, but yet they don't know anything about magic. Right. You know, made in America, Grand Lodge, dra and then in simple in English you get dragon, M and M, tiger, Aryan, accident, Keter, which can be Kether. Archon, Beltane, and Black Mamba. Yep. That is it. I think that is... One thing, one, like, I just noticed right now and looking at it, so every girl that's listed has a double something. Melissa, double S. Megan Waterman, double, double N. Double N's, I did notice that. Double N's, yeah. Lynn Costello, double N, double L. And then Maureen, double E. I don't know. Oh, I'm, it's wow. probably just a coincidence, but... Ah. Um, but going back to the whole duality or du duplicate, you know, 22, 33, twins, 88, yes. twins, yeah, Pisces, the, you know, just this. See, like, my like if I would have noticed that, my crazy ass would have ran those names now without one of those double letters. 
to see what else is wrong with it. Wow. You know, like when I took out the H's by That's accident. right. That's right. Yeah. yeah I'm yeah. wondering, like, if you take out doubles, like, if that would you see would, if that yeah. would give you something else. Yeah. But that's, I think, uh, I think that wraps it up, actually, correct? Yes, it does. So, I mean, in all of that, in my honest opinion, I think there is a, a lot, a lot, a lot of thelemic stuff, uh, cult right. symbolism, you know, between everybody, Rex, the wives, the family members, and even the people that, you know, he's being accused of murdering. They have all had multiple, multiple things that, you know, occult or thelemic. You know, I question this whole, whole thing. You know, I'm not saying he didn't do it, but I do even just question, you know, even just like the Kohlberger thing. He could have done it. I just don't believe he did it alone. And, you know, this case is so old. I mean, look, we even got, like, stuff about Tupac might be coming out now. Yeah. It's like, really? Right. You know, like, uh, I don't know. 13-year-old investigation, that was another one. 13-year-old investigation for yes. the 13 again. Yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah. I don't know. You know, I, I'll have more to say about it, I guess, when we get to part two. But I, I just really hope that people, like, if you listen to the whole thing, I don't know, man. I don't think this is all coincidence. That's just my opinion. You know, I don't know what's going on. Again, this guy's innocent to proven guilty. So, again, I'm not saying he definitely did it or who did do it. I'm just saying mm-hmm. I think something is shady. Very shady. You know, we don't know everything also. You right. Know, so. we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. But again, even with the DNA stuff, yeah. I'd like to see all these people that could be popping up, which is a string of people. I'd like to see, like, where were they? Or where's what's going on with them? Were they ruled out? You know, I mean, the same thing kind of even goes on. If you look into how I think the DNA works with... Uh, Again, from the Idaho Four. Like, right. isn't that kind of like even opening up other possibilities besides him? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, again, I, Kohlberger, I, I'm not saying he didn't do it, but, you know, even with his DNA, there's other people right. besides him that could be being looked at. Right. And it's the same MO, like with the cell tower pinging and this and that, and the it, it it's almost like the playbook is the same. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So that is the end of this episode. Thank you so, so much for coming on and providing all that information and letting me ramble my dramatur afterwards. Of course. Uh, I had a good time. I do think this is seriously like a very, I don't know, it's a very weird case. Obviously, if it's, you know, if it was on uh, the NY Patriot, it could have been really anything. But for me to put it on the occult rejects, obviously, you already know. I truly believe like something is fishy up with this. As fishy as that Pisces. That was good. That's good. <laughs> so stupid. All right. So that is the end of another occult rejects. Um, I'm hoping to maybe, uh, depending on uh, you know your availability and other things coming up, I'm hoping maybe within two weeks we'll be able to put out part two. Um, this one okay. is obviously going to drop. As you can see, it's uh, dropping the day after I recorded it. It's dropping today, Friday. I'm recording this Thursday. Dropping Friday is an extra because one, it's kind of like you know, not to, you know, it's a hot topic, but it's like also I, 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 silly as it sounds, I really haven't focused on true crime on the occult rejects, so I'm not expecting everybody to actually be interested in that, even though there may be occultism to it. Some people may not be into gematria all that much, so this would go out as an extra. But I'm assuming it'll probably do well anyway, you know. And I want to put it on the occult rejects because. That's where I'm going with this. So uh, this will drop as an extra, not as a regular Wednesday. Now, the part two might. I don't know. But uh, it might end up just being an extra series that will be coming out on this weird as hell thing to me, a situation. Uh, That is the end of uh, another Occult Rejects. And until the next one, everybody be well.